Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. The Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa visited today the Royal Command Staff and National Defense College. Upon arrival, he was received by the Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagr Naimi and the Commandant of the College Rear Admiral Abdullah Saeed Al Mansouri. Sheikh Khalifa reviewed the implementation of the Royal College's development plans and discussed a number of topics regarding the development of specialized training programs related to academic affairs. Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa listened to a specialized research in the field of artificial intelligence presented by a number of officers enrolled in the 2nd National Defense and the 12th Command and Joint Staff sessions. The Commander-in-Chief then gave a lecture to the officers enrolled in these sessions. جلال القائد الأعلى وأتقدم بالشكر للأخوان المسؤولين في الكلية وفي القيادة العامة على ما يقومون به من جهد لرفع مستوى الكفاءة والعلم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما أتيتم من العلم إلا قليلا المهم في كلياتنا الموجودة إن شاء الله وهيئة الركن تدرس الاحتياجات والتطبيقات العسكرية أولا والأمنية وتأثيرها على هذا النوع من العلم إذا دخلنا فيه المؤسسة العسكرية ما يجب تدخل في مشروع معين إلا هي قادرة أن تدافع عن نفسها فيه توجيه جلالة الملك كان للقطاعات المدنية وطبعا نحن المؤسسات العسكرية والأمنية والاستخبارية الموجودة ابتدأ تطبق هذا الشيء إلا النصيحة الرئيسية في البحوث أن كيف نحافظ على المعلومات أولا وإلى أي مستوى هذه المعلومات إحنا ندخل فيها وكيف نستخدمها في حماية المؤسسة العسكرية أو في تحقيق الخطط العسكرية أو في إعادة تنظيم المؤسسة العسكرية أو في مراجعة التهديد الموقف اليوم هو يهمنا كلنا الموقف العسكري والموقف يمكن الاستراتيجي اللي حاصل في المنطقة بعد هذه التهديدات الأخيرة اللي زادت على دولنا من نفس المصدر مصادر التهديد ولو يعني الجغرافيا تختلف أحيانا لكن المصدر هو واحد إن شاء الله إحنا باستعدادنا وبعلمنا وتطوير قواتنا المسلحة الموجودة في المنطقة قادرين ندافع عن أوطاننا وعن ديننا وعن أبنائنا وأراضينا وجميع المنجزات اللي أنجزت اليوم في هالبلادين إحنا في مملكة البحرين منضمين لأكثر من خمس تحالفات اليوم تحالف بقيادة المملكة العربية السعودية قائمين بجهد كبير إن شاء الله والخطوة اللي تمت ولله الحمد إن شاء الله بداية سلم بين الأخوان وإذا اتفقوا هم أخواننا في اليمن على إجراءاتهم الداخلية إن شاء الله اتجهينا إلى تحقيق السلام الحرب أو الاستعداد للحرب أو المشاركة للحرب الهدف الأساسي منهن كلنا نعيش بسلام وياهم نتمنى لكم التوفيق إن شاء الله في هذه الدورة during the visit, the BDF Commander-in-Chief chaired the meeting of the Supreme Council of the Royal Command Staff and National Defense College where he noted that the march of the BDF under the constant patronage and directives of His Majesty the King made many great achievements at the combat and administrative levels and his keenness to implement the development and modernization process of various scientific curricula and various military training edifices. He affirmed the important role of the Royal College in the field of higher military education, which aims to prepare officers armed with all the requirements of contemporary military at the strategic level and contribute to the follow-up of modernization and development operations. The field marshal added that the BDF is keen on developing the programs and curricula of the Royal College and providing an academically and military qualified uh, human element, wishing the members of the Royal College success in achieving the goals related to training programs. The visit was attended by a number of BDF senior officers. 
The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs extended greetings to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The government and people of Bahrain and the Islamic world for the occasion of the Prophet's birthday, peace be upon him. The SCIA affirmed that the Prophet, peace be upon him, is the role model to emulate and that celebrating the birthday represents a good occasion to renew commitments to the Islamic religion and its sacred principles. The SCIA also discussed a number of items on its meeting agenda, including a report on a ministry's request to change the internal code of one of the Islamic societies, the maintenance of a mosque in Muharraq, and an item from the Shura Council on adding a new article to an existing law. The Ministry of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali al naimi the minister, delivered Bahrain's speech at the 40th session of the UNESCO General Conference held in Paris, France, in the presence of a number of senior officials, ministers and member state delegations. al naimi conveyed His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's wishes of success for the conference to achieve the noble humanitarian goals for which UNESCO strives for. He affirmed the Kingdom's support of UNESCO's vision for education and its strategy to implement sustainable development goals, recalling the core cooperation between Bahrain and UNESCO in many fields, especially through the UNESCO King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa Prize for the use of ICT in education. The minister affirmed that Bahrain celebrates this year the establishment of the first building block of formal education, noting that uh, the kingdom has come a long way in developing education. He also affirmed that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, will continue to apply UNESCO's humanitarian principles and values of promoting education, dialogue, a culture of tolerance and peace, and enhancing international cooperation. The minister also attended the meeting of the Committee of Vice Presidents of the General Conference. Interior Minister Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa deputized Chief of Public Security Major General Tariq bin Hassan Al Hassan to open the third edition of the GCC Forensics Conference and Exhibition in which specialists in the field from the Arab world and beyond are participating along with around 35 international companies to showcase the latest technologies and equipment. The conference is made up of 28 discussion panels including those on forensic science, counter-terrorism and counter-human trafficking. The Interior Minister made a statement in which he encouraged investing in the latest technology and the use of artificial intelligence in the fields of combating crime and justice. Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah said that the ministry has done its utmost to educate its caters and specialized technical courses at educational institutions across the world and affirmed that progress is ongoing in the forensic field in Bahrain. He said that the forensic evidence has become precise and more readily available than before thanks to its evolving technologies, especially artificial intelligence. For his part, uh, Director General of the General Directorate of Criminal Investigations and Forensic Evidence, Brigadier General Abdelaziz Ramehi, said and made a statement in which uh, he said that the conference represents an international platform for highly qualified and experienced individuals may gather to discuss the best practices in the field and that the ministry is keen on learning from the experiences and knowledge of the Arab countries and beyond. The Brigadier General then toured the exhibition to view the latest technologies and equipment in the field of fighting crime. The Chief of Public Security, Major General Tariq bin Hassan Al Hassan, attended the concluding ceremony of the anti fraud campaign events organized by the Anti Economic Crime Directorate at the General Directorate of Anti Corruption and Economic and Electronic Security under the theme Do Not Be a Fraud Victim. The Chief of Public Security expressed thanks and appreciation to the affiliates of the General Directorate for their efforts in their anti crime field and organizing campaigns aimed at preventing them. He added that awareness is essential in the combating field and that efforts in that regard should not stop following the end of the campaign. For his part, the director of the Anti-Economic Crime Directorate affirmed that the directives of the Minister of Interior had a profound effect on taking preemptive and uh, preventative measures to reduce fraud crimes. The Chief of Public Security honored the organizers of the campaign and toured the exhibition held on the occasion and included a number of confiscated items.
The chief executive of the Labor Market Regulatory Authority, the LMRA, and chairman of the National Committee to Combat Trafficking in Persons, NCCTIP, Osama bin Abdullah Al-Absi, held a roundtable discussion with the fifth intake of the first deputy prime minister's, the FDPM Fellowship. He noted that the fellowship aims to realize His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa's vision for Bahrain's youth by upscaling them to meet new opportunities in line with the kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Al Absi emphasized that connecting learning experiences to opportunities cultivates a generation of young leaders. He then gave a brief on the authority's scope of work in regulating Bahrain's labor market, which further improves labor market efficiency and increases its competitiveness and paid particular attention to the authorities work in promoting and protecting the rights of migrant workers. The fifth intake of the FTPM fellowship expressed their gratitude for the opportunity to meet with the, the al absi and praise the LMRA for the various efforts it currently taking to combat trafficking in persons. The first edition of Bahrain-Korea Environmental Cooperation Forum was held yesterday in Bahrain. The two countries co-hosted a forum dedicated to discussing global environmental challenges and ways for future cooperation. Bahrain Supreme Council of Environment, SCE, and Korean Ministry of Environment, the MOE, have invited experts from relevant government authorities, international organizations, academia, and environmental companies in Bahrain. The forum uh, panelists uh, discuss international efforts towards climate change and views on how to better tackle the environmental challenges. The forum also had presentations on two countries' environmental policies, followed by Korea's experience and best practices. Korea's Ministry of Environment, led by a Korean delegation consisting of a Korean Environmental Industry and Technology Institute, Korean Environmental Industry Association, Suduk One Landfill Site Management, and Corporation, and five Korean environmental companies. Discussions included eco friendly waste management and renewable energy, solar energy, and waste to energy generation, such as biomass and sewage sludge cycle recycling. We are trying to tie our own collaboration to develop a national strategy on climate change with the Korean and we are having a discussion panel today to see how we can move this collaboration further. Korean are very well known on the green investments and green technology. We are moving into more of artificial intelligence. This is a new era of uh, a new industrial revolution number four. Uh, which we are looking forward to move it forward with the Korean government. Strong dependency on fossil fuels is not sustainable in the future and both countries they must find new opportunities in renewable energy, in green cities, uh, in circular economy. So in that sense this uh, forum can be a good opportunity particularly between business people from both countries to find new business opportunities in investing further in the climate change action, in clean and renewable energy, in green transportation, and in recycling and the circular economy. This initiative is very uh, important in the sense that both countries are tackling not national issues but international issues such as climate changes and, and waste management and those kind of you know, environmental issues that we face as a member of the global village, international community. I think this is very, very you know, meaningful initiative you know, for both you know, the Kingdom of Bahrain, Korea, to face to face discuss the issues and, 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 and discuss about how to you know, tackle the global issues. The Secretary General of the Gulf Cooperation Council, the GCC, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, attended the ceremony organized by the GCC Secretariat General on the occasion of obtaining an ISO certification in information quality and security. Al Zayani said that excellent performance is aimed at achieving an honorable level to serve the GCC cooperation and its goals. The Secretary General expressed pride in the achievements of the General Secretariat and the administrative and technical development that has been implemented, asserting that the Secretariat will continue to develop its administrative system and performance. 
The 18th Arab Businessmen and Investors Conference has delivered an unbeatable combination of compelling content, top-tier attendees, and an electrified atmosphere to empower the audience with the knowledge needed and bringing to the table a global perspective under the slogan of the Fourth Industrial Revolution, shaping the future digital disruptions for a better tomorrow. <laughs> Under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, today closes the 18th Arab Businessmen and Investors Conference, held under the slogan, The Fourth Industrial Revolution, Shaping the Future Digital Disruptions for a Better Tomorrow, which aims to drive investment in entrepreneurship and innovation in the digital revolution in the Arab world. It's organized and supported by Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Union of Arab Chambers, Arab League, the Arab Investment and Export Credit Guarantee Corporation and the United Nations Industrial Development Organization. The fourth industrial revolution uh, with the technologies and disruptive uh, technologies uh, coming on, it's affecting almost all sectors, uh, the health sector, the educational sector, uh, uh, the industries. Uh, so some countries, uh, their economies might be affected uh, and other countries might pick up by uh, proper approach uh, to, to the disruptive uh, technologies. Uh, we saw lots of innovations in the fintech, for example, in the financial sector, and how the banks are uh, evolving with this uh, kind of disruptions. Everything is transformed through this revolution. You are moving from traditional or first stage of IT into a very advanced stage of IT. And that's why it is important. Definitely Bahrain is a very good environment for such a transformation. The reason is we have the infrastructure, we have the human resources, and we have the vision. The government has approved this action plan for uh, 219 to uh, 22 and one of the big elements in it is the, the transforming the economy uh, from oil and gas to uh, new types of economy. We are now living in the era of digital transformation and knowledge economy and that's very important for countries to start looking into what policies need to be changed, what uh, industries need to be created and what skills need to be developed. Uh, so what we're listening today here are experiences from different entrepreneurs, different people who actually started the journey. And we're very pleased that this is happening here in Bahrain. The conference serves as a platform for influential voices, including heads of nations, technology leaders, political statesmen, financial experts, economic decision makers and celebrities that are shaping industries globally to convey their expertise and knowledge on the fourth industrial revolution and also bring to the table a global perspective on the future of manufacturing, business environment, people and nations. This conference is a basically a huge opportunity to interact with the people and network with different investors and business people around the world and get to know about their experiences, how we can expand our business and how we can implement more betterly into our business and expand it into different cities as I am a doctor and I'm running a health and technology company so providing people uh, treatment to the people with ease and facility. So I'm here to interact with the people, interact with the investors to develop my company and to expand find my business. And the conference is very important because basically it is giving us an opportunity to meet young people who are entrepreneurs as well as also learning from young entrepreneurs here from uh, around the world. So the conference is very important. Uh, it, I've, it will raise our awareness. It will also open up our horizon because this is my, this is my first time in this country or in, this, uh, in the Gulf. It's the first time I participate and honestly it's uh, very interesting. The topics are really um, instructive and well presented and the speakers are really of high quality and also the networking is quite impressive afterwards. It's a big opportunity for us but only for the other stakeholders, interpreters, government actors, etc. for improve the knowledge and the skills between us, between the, this, this amazing network. Bahrain maintains its place as a major hub of innovation, entrepreneurship and new global digital economy as it accommodates emerging developments in the market, attracting leading speakers from around the globe and more than 1,500 participants from across the globe. The 18th Arab Businessmen and Investors Conference gathers here in Bahrain, entrepreneurs and investors from all around the globe discussing the latest about the fourth industrial revolution and how we can adapt to it. Hiba Abdul Ghaffar, Bahrain International.